Studneck Aquatics here. It is time for another cigar review. I know it's been a while since I've done one. I've been very, very busy. But anyway, it's kind of a nice day. We are right below before the 4th of July holiday weekend. And it just got done raining, a really nice day out. It's kind of a quick look of my cigar lounge. And this is my walk-in humidor that I built. If you haven't seen the video, I did a build series on it. Now it's pretty loud in there, so I'll probably grab this cigar and then step out in order to talk about it because it is pretty loud. The humidification system is running right now. And the one that I'm going to do today Is this one right here this has been in there for for quite a while it has been aging which I like to do with cigars and this is actually Henry Clay stock cut it looks like it's about a Toro um, this is a full-bodied cigar and there's a little bit different curing process for this than typical tobacco so that's why it has a unique name I'm going to get it set down here I will get this thing fired up and we're going to review this cigar. Okay, I thought before I let it, we'd take a look at this thing. And this is by Henry Clay and this is called Stock Cut. It is a Toro. It's 6x54. This is a full bodied cigar. And it's, it's a very nice looking cigar. It does not have a cut foot. So you can see the tobacco is wrapped around the end of that. And it's, it's a really nice looking, kind of a medium brown wrap or something like that. There's a little bit of veining in it, but not very much. It's not cracked. There's no peeling. And like I said, it's been in there for, for probably a couple of years. And it's, it's fairly firm on the foot. And it's fairly firm all the way through. So I'm going to go ahead and get this thing fired up. I'll look up a little more about this cigar, and we're going to see how this is. Okay, I do have it lit now. And this cigar is a full-bodied cigar. Like I said, it is a Toro, and it's made in the Dominican Republic. Um, the wrapper is, I believe, a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper, if I remember right. The binder's from the Dominican Republic, and then the fillers are from the Dominican Republic and Nicaragua. And the reason they call it stock cut is that rather than just cut the leaves off the tobacco plant and take them in and hang them to cure them, they actually cut the stalk and they hang the entire plant on there. And they claim that that allows the leaves to pull more nutrients from that stalk and makes it more of a deeper and an earthier cigar smoking experience. So that's what I read about it. It's burning fairly even as a really nice light gray ash. Um, there's a little bit of a glitch on the burn there, but I'm going to go ahead and smoke this thing down a little bit, and so far, uh, before I lit it, I kind of smelled it, and it kind of has the, the feel of kind of, kind of like a, like a hay or something like that. It's packed really, really tight. You have to draw really hard on this cigar in order to get it to smoke, which means there's nothing wrong with that, but it's going to burn really slow, and when a cigar burns slower, that's when you pick up more of those flavors. It's definitely earthy, no doubt about that. And it's almost like it has a little bit of like a cocoa or a something like that note going on. Kind of a spice. I don't know if it's like a cinnamon type spice, but there's some kind of a spice there. But the main thing you get is that that earthy tone. And where it is a full-bodied cigar, it's it's going to it's going to smoke slow. It's going to have a lot of flavor. And we're just going to take our time with this thing. It's a really nice day. It just got done raining, so I might slip outside and sit on the deck and smoke this down a ways. And then when I get down in that second, third, we're going to chime in, and I'll also let you know what these things cost. I'm not quite into the second third, just kind of starting into it. Um, this thing is burning a little bit uneven and the ash is fairly frayed, but so far what we have is it has a real earthy tone to it, no doubt about that. There's there's a little bit of like a cinnamon thing going on there a little bit, and it, but it's really toasty. It's kind of a, a toasty note, if you would call it that. I'm not sure what you call it. The flavors that are in this are, are fairly pronounced, and that might have something to do with the way they cured this. So I'm going to continue to smoke the thing down. I might add one more as we get in there. It is a Toro. It does take quite a while. And I'll look up and see what it costs, and we'll add that then. Okay, I'm in on the second third of this cigar. It's burning fairly even, and I've had some comments from, from viewers that 
you know, want to know why I don't constantly correct it if it's not burning right. And if it burns really bad and starts to tunnel up one side or canoe up it or whatever they want to call it, then I do. But when I'm smoking a cigar and I'm not doing a review, I constantly correct it if it needs it. But when I do a review, I like to just kind of let it burn the way it burns so you can see whether or not it does burn even or not. And if that, if that makes any sense. Basically what you get from this cigar is a very earthy cigar. That's the main flavor that pulls all the way through. In the beginning I picked up a little little bit of a cinnamon, kind of a spice type thing in there. Um, it's very toasty. It's a really toasty cigar. Uh, it does have some, a little bit of cedar in there too. So there's quite a bit going on with this thing. I did look it up. And a box of 20 is $174. That's $8.70. You can get a pack of five for $46, which is $9.20. So it's basically a $9 to $10 cigar is what it is. So you have to put out a little bit of money to get your hands on one. I think it's worth trying because of the curing process is a little different than other cigars, and it's interesting to me when you run into something like that. It does have a 92 rating from Cigar Aficionado, and it also hit the top 25 of 2016. So it's made its mark in the cigar world. It's worth trying if you have a cigar lounge near you. And that is my review of the Henry Clay Stock Cut. And as always, keep smoking cigars.